Hello everybody and welcome back to Throttle Grotto. This week I'm working on the muffler for the Datsun and I'm going to stuff it full of these scrubby pads. Stay tuned. <laughs> everybody so welcome back to throttle grotto uh this week as i said is all about this old dotson muffler now i have to confess that i did a little bit of work on this last week just to kind of get familiar with the direction i wanted to go with it um, as you can see i've already removed the pipe out of the center uh, and a bunch of the stuffing which seems to catch on fire every time i drill or grind on this thing so I guess the first thing I'll do is I will show you how I got the pipe out of the center of the muffler. All right, so I took a few liberties off camera and removed all of the stuffing from inside of this muffler because it was just getting everywhere and it's pretty nasty. So if you will imagine, this is what our muffler looked like prior to me removing the inner piece. And... I remembered something from, I think I was watching this old house or something like that, where they made a jig to drill a hole in another piece uh, of wood. Um, so that's what I did. I just basically made a jig, clamped it to the muffler, and then used my hole saw to drill around the pipe. Did the same thing on the other side, and then I was able to remove the inner piece. All right, so I guess the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the list of supplies that I've picked up so far to make this muffler rebuild a reality. Um, so there's our piece of two inch pipe that passes nicely through the through the ends of the muffler. I have back in the corner there behind the welder I have a sheet of galvanized metal which we're going to use to Basically, <laughs> basically fix all of the damage. God, you can actually see all the way through this thing. Ooh, it's pretty bad. Um, I have this here, which is a piece of 304 stainless perforated sheet that I got off of Amazon. I have some uh, 304 stainless mesh which I also got off of Amazon. It's a bit finer of a mesh than the, than the stainless sheet is. And of course I have a 16 pack of 304, or yeah, of stainless steel scrubbies, which is gonna be the new insulation for the muffler. Um, so why do I have the sheet and the mesh? Well, because taking this piece of pipe and drilling all these holes in it, as you can see here, takes forever. <laughs> I don't have a drill press. Um, I have a hand drill and then I have a giant three-quarter inch, uh, another giant three-quarter inch electric drill. Either way, drilling this many, that many holes in this piece of pipe will take hours. And quite frankly, most of my drill bits are trash, <laughs> so it will take even longer. Um, yes, I should buy more drill bits. No, I'm, no I did not. Um, so we are going to use this piece of mesh to replace the center portion of the pipe. We'll roll it into a tube and tack it together with my welder. And that will give us the perforated section. We will wrap it with some stainless mesh, which I can cut with my shears. And then we will rebuild the outside of this muffler to at least not leak, which is the goal. So basically I'm gonna make a whole new muffler. I'm going to keep the, the flanges on the ends. I'm gonna keep the length and diameter and shape the same. And I kind of want to take this section here that has the the old information, the old logo on it, and reuse it. So let's get to work. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this old muffler.
now that I have disassembled the muffler with near Bad Obsession Motorsport levels of precision, uh, I have all the parts laid out here on this piece of cardboard. So let's just go through them real quick. I have the two end caps. I have the flanges. And I have the center section, or the, the center section of the metal, which I sliced out my little panel here that I want to try to save. It's pretty rusty, really worth saving. It might just be kind of a fun thing just to like flatten out and put on the wall. These are all the pieces. So now we just need to cut out some replacement pieces uh, for the sides and the center. So first thing I need to do is I need to figure out how how long this piece is. So I'm just gonna make a mark here. Roll it like this on the cardboard to there. And then I will add that. Piece there. Grab my tape measure. And that shows to be 14 and a quarter. And I already know, because I measured the width, that it's 7 and 7 eighths wide. So I just need to cut a piece for that. I already have my templates here, so this is all going to be pretty easy to cut the metal for the outside of the muff. everybody so I got the end plates welded up and uh, they are in much better condition now than the than the old uh, than the old metal was um, so the only thing I have to do is I have to punch a couple of holes with the hole saw I don't need a guide because I can pretty much measure out where the center is here and uh, and just drill a couple of holes for the pipe to pass through and then I need to bend the uh, the outer casing up to match this still not entirely sure how I'm going to do that but I feel like I'm going to use these as a bending template somehow um, and I'll probably end up just tacking it and bending it as I go to to make it uh, to make it actually uh, make it actually like stay in place um, and then uh, then we can stuff it full of goodies Brillo pads <laughs> and uh, Actually, I can't say Brillo because I'm not using Brillo pads. I'm using just stainless steel scouring pads. Um, so yeah, um, day two of making a muffler. Okay, so the next piece of the puzzle is this perforated metal. Um, and I got perforated metal because it's super thin. And I'm just going to basically use that as a substitute for the... Uh, the perforated metal pipe that was inside the muffler. Um, you can see it's just basically a sheet that they folded over and tacked into place. It's pretty much the same thing I'm going to do here, um, except I'm going to make it the center of this. So as you can see, <laughs> drilling all those holes would have taken forever. <laughs> I turned the perforated metal sheet into a perforated metal tube. Now I'm not going to leave the uh, hose clamps on here, but basically I formed the formed the metal around the piece of exhaust pipe that I need to uh, or my the piece that I cut out. Um, so that got me to a mostly round shape, but now I need to compress. But now I need to compress this down so that it actually fits inside the muffler. So I figured I would try using some hose clamps. All right, 
so now that passes through. I just need to even up the other side. And I might even might even just pinch it back into the into the vise a little bit just to round it out. Alright, so there is there is that side and I just need to even up the other side and then I can just throw some tacks on it around the around each one of the ends. Alright, so we are gonna call this functional. We're not gonna call it pretty. <laughs> the good thing is, is all of this will be inside all of this center section will be inside the muffler. So this is kind of how it's gonna look. Here's our end caps. And I've already cut the finger and the and the inside here to the right dimensions. So this is what our muffler will look like. So now I have to bend this piece uh, <laughs> to, to this contour and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that yet. Maybe I'll find something around the garage that has a similar bend. So the scrap metal bin has provided me with a cherry bomb muffler <laughs> that I took off the Datsun. So it was just still sitting in my scrap metal bin. Um, it is a little bit larger here uh, as opposed to the stock muffler that I'm going to build, but this should give me enough that I can at least make a, at least make the curve on the end with it. I'm basically just going to clamp my, clamp my uh, metal to the to the muffler and I'm just going to hammer it around, try my hardest to make, make the outside of the muffler that. two is where we're at right now so as you can see the end cap mostly fits I've got a I've got a little ridge right here that I need to take out of the muffler so you guys can see it on this end um, so this needs to compress a little bit more before it'll uh, before the muffler before the end tank will fit or the end cap will fit on this side of the muffler um, so I'll work on that a little bit tomorrow. Um, what I want to do basically at this point is I want to get this end fitted so that this shape is correct. And then I will slide this pipe into the muffler. And then that way with with that all together like that, I can pack all the stuffing into the muffler. I can wrap the, uh, and I might not even actually need this. I might be able to send it back. I think it's going to be okay without it. And that'll save me, save me a few dollars on my Amazon account. Um, and so that I will pack with all the stuffing and then I can weld this up. I need to flatten this out a little bit more. This got compressed a little bit here when I well, when I was pinching on it. Um, but, um, and I need to obviously weld everything and grind it to make it look nice because I'm a grinder, not a welder. Um, so that is gonna be tomorrow's project is getting, getting the rest of this all right. All right, so the next step, not too complicated. I'm gonna just gonna stuff this thing full of scrubbies. I don't have any, uh, 
I don't have any science to this, but um, the reason I'm using the stainless is because when I go to weld this back together, the fiberglass insulation probably will catch on fire. So um, I'm just going to figure out how many how many scrubbies I can shove in this muffler, and uh, I might have to cut some of these up to get them in here. So seems like it fills it pretty well. So that's that's two scrubs in there right now. I don't want no scrubs. Um, you got a little bit of room over here. I can jam some stainless into there. All right, so that is packed with four scrubs. Um, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should take one out just to make it packed a little less dense. But we'll just go for it. So I went to edit the video and realized that I'd completely forgotten to film the ending where I showed you what the muffler looks like. <laughs> so I took it and shot a coat of high temperature silver barbecue paint on it. It's not gorgeous. I understand that. This is not a this is not a pro quality muffler. This is me in my garage doing my best to try to make a make a muffler, and I did. So I'm proud of the fact that it worked and it looks like a muffler. And next week, I'm going to do a video where I compare the muffler to a piece of straight pipe. And we're going to do a head-to-head -head with a decibel meter and everything. And I think you guys are going to be really surprised by the results. So click like and subscribe. I appreciate all the reviews, comments, and likes. And until next time, get out there and work on something.